Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. An alleged gang member accused of shooting two NYPD officers in Queens earlier this month was arraigned at Queens County Criminal Court today. He is facing first degree attempted murder charges tonight. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram has the story. 19-year-old Bernardo Raul Castro Mata entered a Queens courtroom Wednesday in a wheelchair, his right arm cuffed to it. One of them was shot point blank in the abdomen, one of them was shot in the leg, and yet despite that, they continued to make the arrest. He was indicted for shooting NYPD officers Richard Yaruso and Christopher Abreu earlier this month in East Elmhurst as they tried to pull him over while he was on a scooter going the wrong way on a one-way street. It is alleged that the scooter was unregistered, unlicensed. He was not wearing a helmet. According to court documents, Mata, who lived in a migrant shelter and remains in custody at Bellevue Hospital, told detectives he's a member of a Venezuelan gang and that guns are smuggled into shelters through food delivery packages to avoid metal detectors. It is common practice for trendy or gang members to shoot at police officers because Venezuelan police officers shoot at gang members for minor infractions. But he pled not guilty, claiming the gun wasn't his and it accidentally went off during the encounter with police. Prosecutors reading several statements they say he made to investigators. I knew there was a gun in the back. When the cops stopped me, I ran because I was scared. Detectives say Mata had previous encounters with police, and when he was arrested, he had two stolen credit cards on him, which linked him to other crimes. At Wednesday's arraignment, dozens of officers were in and out of the courtroom in a show of solidarity. Anyone who attacks a police officer needs to be prosecuted, sentenced, and then deported. We're told both of those officers are still home recovering. Mata is due back in court September 16th. He is facing several charges, including attempted murder. From the Queens County Criminal Courthouse, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News.